Hi friends, my name is Ansha and I'm an educator of an academy and you can follow me on our website or you can download the academy learning app. So uh, we were discussing about hill ciphers and so in this lesson uh, we'll discuss another example with 3 by 3 matrices. So in this lesson we are going to discuss about the encryption. Okay. So if you like my lesson, please rate, recommend and review and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay, so we were studying the Hill cipher and in the previous lessons we learned the encryption and decryption process with 2 by 2 matrices. Now let's try another example with 3 by 3 matrices. Okay, so again uh, we use the same formula for encryption and decryption for all order matrices. Uh, so this is our formula to encrypt a text. So in this lesson we'll discuss about encryption and in the next lesson we'll see the decryption part. Okay. So this is the formula for encryption C equal to K into P mode 26. So C means what? Cipher and what is K? The key and what is P? The plain text or the message and then we do modeless operation. Okay. So um, again we can encrypt a group of letters which we call polygraph and we are using um, a lot of operations on matrices. Okay. So so uh, this is how the encryption part is done. So first what is the step? We need to the key and we need to apply it on our plain text. Okay. So this is my plain text. So let the plain text be safe messages. Okay. So this is the message that I want to be encrypted and make it secure from any unauthorized disclosure. So this is the message that I need to encrypt. Okay. So this is my plain text P. Okay. Then uh, we need to choose a key. So let this be my key ciphering okay so this is my key now what do we need to do we need to translate this key into the form of a matrix so i am translating this into a form of matrix 3 by 3 matrix okay so c i p h e r i n g this is the word ciphering so i changed this into a 3 by 3 matrix now i need to translate this again into an integer matrix so i am so I am taking the corresponding integer values for these alphabets. So what is the value for C? It's 2. So first element is 2. Then we have I. I is 8. And then we have P. What is P? It's 15. And then we have H. What is H? It's 7. Then E. E is 4. Then R. R is 17. Then I. I is again 8. Then N. N is 13. And G. G is 6. Okay, so this is my key matrix, 3 by 3 matrix. Since key is a 3 by 3 matrix, plain text should be converted into column vectors of, sorry, vectors of length 3. Okay, so this is my key. This is 3 by 3 matrix. So I need to translate this plain text into column vectors and number of column vectors of length 3. Okay, so first what do I need to do is, I need to split this text into trigraphs. Okay. Three letters. Okay. So S A F E M E S S A G E S. Then I can write it in form of matrix. Okay. So this is my four column vectors. And this is my plain text. And this is my key. Okay. Now, first, first vector is S A F. So we will see how to encrypt this. Trigraph. Okay. So first we need to translate it into integer matrix. So what is the value for S? It's 18. Then A is 0. Then F is 5. So 18, 0, 5 is my corresponding column vector. Okay. Then what is the equation? C equal to P, K, mode 26. So what is C? Cipher. That is what we are going to find. Then we have a plain text which is this and then we have key which is this. Now when we apply these two in this equation we will get like this. So we need to do matrix multiplication. So first row into first column. So 2 into 18, 8 into 0, 15 into 5. Then 7 into 18, 4 into 0, 17 into 5. Then 8 into 18, 13 into 0 and 6 into 5. Okay, so we'll get like this. So we need to find more 26 of these numbers. Okay, so 111 more 26, then 211 more 26, then 174 more 26. So when we do this modulus operation, that is just dividing and finding the remainder, we'll get like this 7, 3, 18. So this is the corresponding cipher for SAF. So we need to convert this into form of 
alphabet. So what is the corresponding one to seven? It is H. Then we have three. That is D. Then we have eighteen. That is S. Okay. So H D S is the corresponding cipher letters for S A F. Okay. Clear. Okay. The next vector is E M E. Now, what are the corresponding integers to these alphabets? For E, we have four. Then for M, we have twelve. And for E, again, we have four. So four, twelve, four is the vector for this alphabets. Okay. Now, we need to apply this and the key in our formula. So we'll get like this. So this is the key, and this is the plain text. Okay. Now do the matrix multiplication. So first row into first column. So two into four plus eight into twelve plus fifteen into four. That is the first element. And then we have seven into four, four into twelve, seventeen into four. And then we have eight into four, thirteen into twelve, six into four. Then we'll get these numbers. And then we need to do the modulus operation. So when we do the modulus operation, we'll get these results. Okay. So this is the corresponding. Cipher matrix, so we can convert this into alphabets. So what is the value for eight? It's I. Then for fourteen we have O. Then for four we have E. So I O E is the corresponding cipher to E M E. Okay, with this key, clear? Now the next vector is S S A. So what are the corresponding numbers for S? We have eighteen again S. So eighteen. Then for A we have zero. Okay, so eighteen, eighteen, zero is the next vector. Then we need to apply this in our formula. So this is the key, and this is the plain text. So we need to do the matrix multiplication. So we'll get the results like this: one eighty, one ninety eight, and three seventy eight more twenty six. So we need to do the modulus operation on each of them. So first we find one eighty more twenty six that is equal to twenty four. That is the remainder and Then for 198 we'll get 16, and then for 378 we'll get 14. So 24, 16, and 14 are the results of modulus operation. Okay. Next we need to convert to al corresponding alphabet. So for 24 we have Y, for 16 we have Q, and for 14 we have O. So Y Q O is the corresponding cipher to this trigraph. Okay. S S A. Is encrypted to Y Q O. Okay. Now the next one, that is the last one, is G E S. So what is the number of G? It's six. And what is the number of E? It's four. And what is the number of S? It's eighteen. Okay. So six, four, eighteen is the integer matrix to this trigraph. Okay. Now let's apply this on our equation. C equal to P K more twenty six. What is P? Plain text. What is K? Key and what is this? This is the modulus operation. Okay, so apply this on our equation. This is the plain text and this is the key. Sorry, this equation should be K P. Okay, you must be knowing that the mul matrix multiplication is not commutative. K P is not equal to P K. This uh, is a mistake. I'm sorry for that. So it should be like K P. Okay, first key, then plain text. Okay, first key, then plain text. So this is wrong. Now uh, you need to do the matrix multiplication. So first row into first column, second row into this column, and again last row into column. Okay, so we'll get these numbers: three one four, three sixty four, two not eight. So um, when you do the modulus modulus operation, you'll get like this: three one four more twenty six equal to two, three sixty four more twenty six equal to zero, two not eight more twenty six equal to zero. Okay, so two zero zero. Now, what is the corresponding alphabets? C. For two, we have C. For zero, we have A. And again, zero. So again, A. So C A A is the corresponding cipher to this trigraph G E S. Okay. So the whole text got encrypted. So the plain text safe messages is encrypted to this H D S I O E Y Q O C A A. Okay. So that is how you encrypt using Hill cipher. Okay, now you can see uh, here we have uh, S, and there is also an S in the last. So we have two S here. We have actually four S, but you can see this S is H and this S is A. So that is what is we call 
polyalphabetic ciphers. It's not the same letter that we are all, always replacing throughout the process. For S, we have H in the beginning and for here we have A. So it's different, isn't it? But if it was monoalphabetic ciphers, for S, it will always be H or it will always be A. The, there will be no difference throughout the process. So that is the difference between polyalphabetic ciphers and monoalphabetic ciphers. I hope it's clear. So, uh, in the next lesson, let's see how to decrypt this ciphertext into the original message, okay? Thank you.